Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, welcome to an episode of the React Intermediate series. In this episode right here, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use Suspense and Lazy. Uh, so the new features in React. Uh, and basically, um, if you are using the latest version of React, it kind of replaces React Loadable. So what React Loadable does is it kind of like allows your uh, pages, your React pages, you know, if you pay, like create multiple pages for your React app, um, you know, you can kind of like use that and make it basically chunkable. So basically what it'll do is it'll lazily load these pages as the user is navigating through your site. And uh, essentially uh, what this does is, you know, it, it allows Webpack to, you know, chunk your React app. And what happens is you know, the user doesn't have to load the entire bundle all at once. They just load the most minimal amount of code. Uh, you're, you know, as the user is progressing and using the application, they load more of the application. And you know, that way your application is not megabytes. You just have like, you know, very minimal, small amounts when you boot up the app. So everything boots up really quickly. Uh, and as the user is progressing, as he or she is using uh, the application, more chunks uh, start to flow down uh, from the server. Uh, and that's what, uh, you know, code splitting is all about in Webpack 4. And basically before, you know, we were using um, React Loadable to do that part, uh, you know, which is lazily loading the pages down, load, lazily loading the chunks down as they're in demand. So uh, we can replace that whole thing uh, essentially with uh, Suspense. So uh, in this episode right here, what I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna upgrade our app to use Suspense and Lazy uh, and remove Loadable altogether. Okay, so let me explain how the segments actually work. So right now I'm on the post. So uh, you can see that, you know, we have this post over here. Um, and essentially, you know, uh, this is the segment over here. So if I go down to here, this is a segment, right? So we have a collection of posts. Um, and then, uh, you know, that's basically how it figures out which segment to load. It's from the URL, it extracts that segment name, and then it loads the different component based on that. So that's how that works. Um, so if, for example, if I go to sign in, we're in the auth segment, if you will. And that's why the directory is named auth. And then there's an index in here that pretty much loads its own components, subcomponents, or whatever. Uh, so we have different segments in the pages that kind of like get loaded um, dynamically based on, you know, which pages you're on, essentially. And uh, so that's basically how that works. So now we're going to replace this with uh, s lazy and suspense. So I'm going to go to lazy and suspense and then uh, lazy. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do const segment. So you can call this whatever you want. Uh, lazy. So essentially, we're going to be removing loadable, React loadable from our entire application. Uh, and that's, you know, one less dependency for us to worry about. Um, not that it has had any issues. It's actually been one of the more stable ones, uh, you know, if you ask me. But since that we can do it natively with React, why not? Uh, so import and dot slash. So this segment here is, you know, be coming from the route. So the router, uh, React Router 5 is providing us with that segment name. Uh, and basically this will kind of like load that component lazily. Uh, and then we can just use that down here with suspense. Uh, so we've got the loading. So the loading is basically, you know, what happens while it's loading that component. So we have a loading component that we can use, um, which is perfect in this scenario. Uh, so I'm gonna re return and remove that. And then I'm gonna do suspense. And then I'm gonna do fallback loading like that. And basically here, I'm gonna do segment. Yeah, and just close that. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you know, that will pretty much do it. So I'm gonna remove, um, oh, I see. So I just need to add that. And that will pretty much take care of that. Um, so yeah, everything is working again, as you can see beautifully. Um, you know, if I go back and I check out the Webpack build log, uh, it is also doing the chunking. Uh, the, you know, if I run yarn run dev, um, you will see the, you know, code splitting and all that happening just out of the box because Webpack 4 works with suspense right out of the box. So you can see that with the chunks. Um, and if you do that in production build, you will also get chunks, uh, which is good. That's a good thing. 
So uh, that pretty much takes care of that. Uh, and so I'm going to wrap it up for this episode. This is a free episode. I hope you guys like, share, and subscribe. Uh, check out our website for more React content. Uh, and also we show you how to connect this whole thing to an API, a Rails API. Uh, and basically, you know, how to build out an entire React application from scratch. Um, so yeah, with that, I'm going to wrap up this episode. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Thank you.